Here's a shout out to a few of the people who support this channel on Patreon. Lynn, Jeannie, Patricia, Christine, Ashley, Johnny, Karen, Samantha, Susan, Barbara, Nancy, Catherine, Leslie, Susan, Meta, Melinda, Melissa, Christine, Ellen, Tony, Dale, Mary Jane, Mary Ann, Mickey, Margarita, Jen, Chris, Christy, Donna, Jennifer, Samantha, Nisha, Tammy, Linda, Sherry, Stephanie, Kim, Carla, Jessica, Clarice, Marcena, Jody, Pamela, Heather, Annette, and Christy. Thanks, guys. And thank you. A big shout out to my co-sponsors. You guys are amazing. Good morning. Hey, everyone. There Before, about 10 minutes ago, I saw there were 72 people already chatting and having fun this morning. I had to make sure my video sounds off. It is. All right. Thanks for coming, guys. We have 151 here now. That was quick. Um, thank you all for joining. The chat you see on the screen is from YouTube. So if you're watching on Facebook, as we are live on Facebook, hi, Mike, Julie, Tina from Facebook. Um, and I can't shout out everybody uh, who's watching. Thank you guys for being here. I do this every Saturday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern. And today, I didn't have anything planned, so uh, let's do q and I. I asked in my group, Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane, if they have questions. Nobody commented, or I think I had one or two likes. So I commented again on my post. I said, no questions? We're all good? Everybody knows everything? And then the questions started pouring in. So I have a few questions I'm going to take from that post. And if you have questions, please put them all in all caps so I can read them better. I will try to answer all your questions. They do have to be about design space, not about applying vinyl and things like that, because this is design space class. So let's get started. If you know anybody else who just got a cricket or is intimidated by their cricket or have had a cricket in their closet for three years, share my videos with them. I have over 70 videos of these classes. I have 1,800 videos. Most of them are with the Cricut. So thank you everybody for coming. How do you flatten up your letters in design space? Great question. You select them and click flatten. Is that a good answer? I'll show you how. Hey, Bobby. Okay, we have lots of questions. Um, if making planner stickers, how do you make an outline cut around an image? It's probably like an offset, and if it doesn't come with one, some of them do. Some images come with a background cut. I would use those, or you can just put a shape behind it. Uh, but let's get to some, I'm looking at the questions. Uh, some questions I answer in every single video. Um, how to add score lines. Hi, Joan. What's flatten mean? Okay. Let's go to design space. Um, <laughs> uh, flatten, talking about text. Let's just say, hello. Um, I'm gonna add the, oh wait, here. Let me add the grid lines. And I'm gonna choose a font with multi layers. Whoops, hit the wrong button. Let's do a frightful affair. Okay, uh, so this has two layers. That's one, this is two. We can change the color of these layers to be anything we want. 
Um, if we want to flatten, what flatten does is it moves these into one layer and it changes it to print and it will cut out of each, it will cut out each letter. So if to hit flatten, all you have to do is click this button down here that says flatten and now it will cut out each layer. When you click make it, it's going to cut out each layer. If you don't want each layer cut out, well, it will print this and then cut out each layer, sorry. Uh, if you don't want each letter cut out, then what you need to do is add a shape to it. Let me bring that back so you can see it. So we're gonna add a shape. Now, your shape can be any color, you know, just whatever you want it to be. I'm going to send it to the back. And I'm going to align it. Align is something I was asked to do, too. So I will go over a line. But I just centered it. Now, it will print this in black or gray or whatever that is. Um, as we have it now, it will print this and black and then print out these letters. Let me show you. Always click make it to see what happens. That's not what I wanted. It's going to print. Oh, it's not going to print that because I don't have it set to print. Okay. So you do not have the flatten option when I only have this black square selected because there's nothing to flatten it to. You have to flatten it to something. You can't just flatten it. If I wanted this to print, I could change it to print. Up here, this is new. Um, up here where it says fill, that's where you change it to print. So it says no fill or print. I want to print that. And I guess I should say ahead of time I'm doing this the wrong way. So now I have them both set to print. They both say cut and print and click make it. Nope, that's still not what I want. I'm showing you guys what not to do because I know so many make the same mistake. Okay, we're going to undo. Okay, so I undid that so it's no longer a print. It's only a cut. Uh, we're going to arrange it to the back and we'll select them both. We can only tell they're both selected because over here, they're both darker. If I only select this one, here it actually looks the same. You have to look in the layers panel to see what you have selected. That's very important. Um, so we're going to select them both. I want it centered. Uh, so now you can change the color of this before you print. If you want this a different color, you just go up here and you can change the color to whatever you want. But we're going to select them both and we're going to flatten. Now it still looks the same. This does not look any different than it has looked, except for look in the layers panel. Now it's only one layer. It says flatten, cut, print. Now when I click make it, it is exactly where I want it and it will cut out this square. Okay, so let's go back. Let's do one more thing. I changed my mind and I want this black white. Okay, for one, let's put that so you can see. Or, okay, I'm gonna do something else real fast. We're gonna change the background color. So many people ask this, I show it in every video. In the layers plan panel, it says blank canvas. It has a little eye knocked out. I don't know why the eye is there. It does nothing. You cannot change it. Don't even click on it. It just does nothing. Go up here to the top, click that little square, and you can change that background to anything you want. Okay, now I want to change this black to white. And I can't seem to do that. So we have to go back here to unflatten. Now the flatten button says unflatten. So um, we are going to click that. Now I can select only the background, see? 
I can tell this is only selected. I see lots of questions. This is going to be a long video. I don't have another one planned. So I have all afternoon. Okay, we're going to click the white. That's what color I want it to print on. Okay, so now they're both set to cut and print. Let's click make it to see what happens. Okay, it has a white square here. You can't see it because it's white on white. And the hello is down here. So what this is planning on doing is to print this page. It's going to cut out this invisible white square. So you have a white square. It doesn't really print white. It's just cutting your paper. And it's going to cut out each letter. So you do not need to group. You do not need to attach. You do not weld. You hit flatten. And there you go. It's going to cut out the invisible white square and not the letters. Okay, did that help a lot of you? I hope so. <laughs> Joan, you make me laugh. Okay, I'm going to go to another... Um, hold on a second. I'm going to go to a question by Jason that was on Facebook. Uh, I'm reading more chat on Facebook. Okay, let me answer this question on Facebook. How do you make the letters longer? Like say you want the word to be 11 inches, but three inches long, maybe you mean tall. Uh, hold on just a second. Um, okay, you guys are still here. Let's go ahead and unflatten this. Uh, somebody's asking how to make the words longer. You hit this, okay, I have the word selected. You unlock this. Guys, I cannot see the chat now or what you're seeing. Okay, sorry. <laughs> you unlock the lock right here and you can drag this. This is with any image, any text. You can make it as long as you want. You can also select it up here. My um, browser is shrunk so you guys can see the chat. So let's say we want the length 11 or the width 11 inches. It's 11 inches. If, let's undo that. If we did that with the lock locked and made this 11 inches wide, the whole thing stays proportionate because it's locked. That lock button is just to make it change proportionate or not. Uh, if you have specific, she says 11 inches wide. I think this is what she's saying. Three inches tall. You can set the size that you want as long as the lock is unlocked. Now, if you don't want to accidentally change it, you can um, lock that lock again and it will always stay those proportions. Okay, there's another question on Facebook. This is by Jason. He asked this in the chat where I asked. Uh, he wants this to look like this. Um, so I'm going to show you a font and then I'm going to upload this picture. So those of you that have questions about uploading, I'm going to upload this picture so I can get that exactly how he wants it. Um, oh, I meant to click here. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of this one. Let's change the font. Okay. Um, 
One other question we had on Facebook I read earlier or yesterday, how do you change the letters to go closer? There's a button right here, letter spacing. You can do that. You can also ungroup and move them with the arrow keys or with your mouse or anything like that. Let's just go ahead and do that. Okay, I wanna put a shadow behind this, not an offset, but a shadow. Thank you, Ronell. <laughs> You're so cute. Um, so I'm going to duplicate this. And I am going to change the color of the second one. Uh, let's just change it to white. So I can move this. So the shadow is right where we want it. Anywhere you want it, you can kind of do it like that, and you have a shadow. It's not an offset. It's not around it the whole way, but it is a shadow. When this cuts out, because I have not ungrouped or anything, and click make it. Oh, it's still printing. I have that white square in there somewhere. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Michelle. Um, so it has the word great here and uh the piece here if you were to cut this out of paper you're gonna have to um just place them all where you want them another option to be for this is to flatten and then it will print and you will cut out it still ha let me get rid of that square here, there it is. We're gonna delete that. <laughs> so now it's going to cut out each letter. Now let's unflatten. Now I could do the same thing and put a square behind it if I want a square cut out. I want this so they're all touching. And each letter is not the same like these are overlapping because this bottom of the K is actually overlapping this, but they're not touching here. So if I were to weld these, they would not um, do anything. So I'm going to ungroup these. Now, since they're ungrouped, it separated them all in the layers panel. Uh, wait, I'm going to group them back. And I'm, can I change the color of all of them at once? I can. Uh, we're going to click make it. Okay, that's certainly not what we want, right? Um, so they're grouped, but I'm going to ungroup them, move them with my mouse. You can also move them with your... Uh, arrow keys on your keyboard so they say they'll stay straight in a line up and down or left or right so you don't accidentally move them out of the way I'm gonna weld these so they won't move you could attach them to so now that's what I want and this no longer matches that, so I'm just going to delete that. I'm going to grab this, duplicate it, change the color of the bottom one, and yeah, that should be welded. They're both set to print, but now you can click make it and they will be one piece of paper. If it was vinyl, it's no big deal. Um, or you can flatten them again. And whoops, I didn't mean to duplicate. I meant to hit make it. So then it will cut it out like that. Um, and it will be, if you do it with paper, it'll be great. It'll just be one piece of paper. It won't cut out individual letters. It'll cut out the word. Hopefully that makes sense. And I have had so many people ask about things they've never tried. Um, like, 
the contour button. They want to know what it does and how to use it, but they've never tried it. Please try it. Click it. I show contour in almost every single video. Hi, Purple Paisley Planner. Um, okay, let's get back to Jason's. Okay, so I showed this is kind of how Jason's was. Let me upload his picture. So we're going to show you how to upload. I'm going to upload an image. This was his image. I downloaded it. I'm going to go to complex. And I'm going to zoom out. First thing I'm going to do is I only want this top part. I don't want this. He wants this word to look like this word. I think with the... And I just showed you how to do that with the shadow. But let's do this exact word. First, we're going to crop it because we only want the top. And then we're going to zoom in again or zoom out. And I'm going to use the magic wand. Now, if I'm going too fast for anybody, remember this is a video. Once you do this, once you watch... Once we're not live anymore, you can pause the video, rewind it. You do it in Design Space just as I did. And um, what was I saying? You do it in Design Space just as I did and then continue to watch the video. So we're going to clean this up. I'm hitting the background and the middle pieces. And I'm going to get rid of this. So I'm going to use the eraser. I'm going to make it a little bigger. That circle is the size of the eraser. I can make that bigger. There. Now I'm going to hit continue. Now this will save it as a print. I don't want to print it. I want to save it as a cut. If I save it as a cut, I can always change it to print. Or if I save it as a print, I can always change it to cut. So it just depends on the image. I can name the image and add tags. I'm probably going to delete this image. I'll show you how to delete it too. Because I don't even know what that is. <laughs> so I'm inserting this. Let's get rid of that. Zoom out. Okay, so I want a shadow, so I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to select the bottom, oh no, I'll select the top one and change the color. And I think that looks like that. Yeah, I think that does, right? So you can do something like that. And then I just showed you how you can flatten it or cut it in different ways. Uh, this would be one image oh it's the name of a broadway musical i haven't heard of that oh now if you want the bottom part let's do that part um so you want this image let's say in two layers in two colors so many people ask that so i'm going to bring this back in And we're going to zoom out. Okay, I'm going to use crop. All I need is this part. Although, actually, you could probably just use your own text and make this. Okay, now I'm going to click on this, the magic wand, and get inside the letters. And because this is so small, it's harder. It might not be a clean cut. To be honest, I would try to match up the font the best I could and just do it in your own font. See, it's not going to look as good. I can do it as a print and change it to a cut. But if I, oh, oh, 
Here is a pen. A print and pen. Print no fill to change it. But we can change it to black. See, it's just not as clear because it was smaller. The smaller the image, the harder it is. Uh, I'm reading your questions. Uh, Lori is saying if there's a pre-designed card and you want to edit letters, how do you do that? Um, let's first let me show you how to delete uploaded images. You click the little I and click delete. They're still in here though. Um, let's go to new. We want to replace what we have here. <sighs> How do you turn off the grid in design space? Uh, Jamie thinks if you see questions I'm missing, go ahead and message them to me. I'm talking to Jamie Leonard. Um, grid right here. You can change your grid by hitting the square between the two zeros. You can also go up here and go to settings and you can change the grid here. <coughs> you can change from inch to centimeters too. And you can hit the um, question mark key anywhere for keyboard settings. What else was I going to answer? Let me see your questions. On Facebook, I can't scroll through the questions. I can only see what I can see. I know there were so many questions. Oh, the align. How do you get align button to light up to use when it shows up light gray? Um, but I had a lot of questions on align. Oh yeah, and score line. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I don't know why I'm changing some colors, but I know there will be a need for it. Okay, let me drag these. I'm just gonna make them all smaller. Okay. Let's select them all. Okay, so a line is not showing up. It's light gray. That is because um, there, you don't have anything selected. I have one thing selected now. Thank you, Bobby. Um, keep that going, Bobby. <laughs> um, it, a line is not selected. Because you cannot align only one image. I only have one image selected. Okay? You have to have at least two selected. So if I want to align these up, now the align is selected. I can center them. And it just centers them on top of each other. Okay, let's undo. Um... I can, I have them all selected. I can, let's just do all of these. This is how I learned, I just played with it. Align left. It aligned them all, so they are, oh my gosh, Kiona. Thank you, Kiona. So now it made them all line up to the left. You are amazing, Kiona. Oh, bringing tears to my eyes. Um, okay, let's undo. Select them all again. Uh, center horizontally. 
horizontally means they're all going to be exactly where they're at, but centered. And we have to undo center right. They'll all be centered to the right. Now, this, these shapes, you don't really need, oh, wait, let's undo, to align. But I use a line a lot when I'm making cards and stuff. Um, align top, it'll bring them all completely aligned in the top. Let's make some of these a different size. Whoops, they're too big. Just so we can see. It aligned them at the top. Align bottom, will line them down at the bottom. Um, I'm gonna mess them up again because I know somebody said if she aligns them vertically, <clears throat> it puts them all on top of each other. So center vertically, it makes them all completely centered. See how this purple is just how can, you can, it's in the middle of this, like it's centered with the square centered with this circle. It's centered in the complete middle because we hit center vertically. Now, if we hit center horizontally, it just moves them all in one line horizontally. Is this making sense with alignment? Now, distribute horizontally. It's going to, it's really hard to tell, but it put them all evenly, horizontally, and distribute vertically. Um, it kind of centered them. That's kind of easier to tell. Okay. Distribute horizontally. Let's do well. Let's spread them out further. Let's duplicate a few of these. Okay, now let's we can just click select all and align distribute vertically. So they're all completely even between them. I know you can't tell, but if we distribute horizontally, oh wait, and vertically. Now let's center vertically. So it puts them all in a line. And let's move one out. Now if we select them all, it's going to distribute vertic, oh wait, horizontally right? It kind of puts them all even. Yeah, vertical is top to bottom. Is it not working right? Like, well, I'm going to hit select all, align, distribute vertically. Yeah, it's working. It's just making them, if they were all the same size, it would make more sense for that. Um, One, okay, let's do the score line, and we're going to do vertical at the same time. So I'm going to put a shape out here. Let's say I want to make a card. Uh, we're going to make a purple card. We're going to edit the size. We're gonna unlock the lock. The width, we're gonna make 8.5 because we're making an A2 size card. We're gonna make it five and a half inches tall. We're gonna zoom out a little so you guys can see. We're gonna add a score line. Um, I 
Okay, let's pretend I think that's in the center. It's not in the center. So to put it in the center, just select them both. Kobe, don't even think about it. Um, I'm gonna click a line and click center. So it put it exactly in the center. Now I have a score line where I want it. Let's click make it and see what happens. It put the score line on a mat all by itself, not in the center. So let's group it. Thanks for subscribing. Um, so now I have it grouped. So you can tell they're both selected. Let's click make it. Uh, it did the same thing. That's because the word group is only, it is only for this canvas. When we're not working on here, it does nothing else. It will size these both together for me, which comes in handy, but it does not keep these together when I'm on the cutting mat. What I have to do is click attach. See the paper clip? This paper clip attaches them. Now when I click make it, it's right there. Okay, um, somebody on Facebook is asking what is the camera button? The camera button is on the iPad app. That is so you can see through your camera and design space in your project just to see it, not to take pictures. Like if you're gonna put something on the wall, you can kind of imagine it on the wall. That's all it does. And let me get to these other questions. Okay, if you have a pre-designed card and you wanna change it, let's go to projects. Um, let's go to a card here. It depends, totally depends on the card. Uh, we're going to replace what we have, yes. Okay. Now this is a word it's not a text so to change that you just have to delete that and add your own word let me go to projects again let me go to home okay here's some cards llama llama we have to hit customize Ronnell, I do want to make your life complete. Hold on just a few minutes. Okay, let's say we want to change this. This is not, you're not able to change all of them. Um, so this is attached to the paper. And what we're going to do is, hold on, I have to see what I'm doing. Make sure you guys can see. Uh, detach. Okay, detach, there we go. So now these are detached. You, let me see if this does anything. No, it's all one. We cannot just click on it and change it. What you would have to do is just take this off and add your own. So you're gonna rewrite your own. You're gonna add text and, uh, Let's just do that. Oh, we want to add style writing. If we want to do our own font, 
I'm just showing you how to change, whoops, change the font where you want this to fit. So I have not ungrouped or anything with this, so I can click on this. And let's say I want each word on a different line. I'm just hitting enter after each one. And let's say I want them centered with fonts. You can click alignment and center. And there's too much room here between the spaces, so I'm gonna click line space. Do, 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 do. Now it just depends on how the projects are created. Okay, I don't have patience for that, so I'm gonna move it over here where it's on a blank canvas. We're gonna ungroup. Now each letter is ungrouped. Let's say I wanna just set it up like this. Um, Let's group this. Whoops, put it up here. Well, it's too big for that area. There we go. Now let's hit make it. Do you guys know what's gonna happen? Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Not even in the right order. It's gonna write like that. So we don't wanna do that. Um. We want to attach it. Okay, now let's hit make it. Do you guys know this is wrong? Okay, now this is right, but it's there's a score line up here. Oh, it's all a mess. I want to attach it. So I can click this piece right here, hit my shift key. Oh, wait a minute, the score line's messed up. That came undone when it attached to. So let's select that score line. Let's select these words. I'm holding down my shift key while I'm selecting these because I don't want to drag it because I don't want to get that blue piece in there. So I can see I have all of these things selected and I'm going to click attach. Now when I click make it, that's the part that I wasn't using. This is attached and it will write on there. Okay, let me answer some other questions. Um, okay, Ronnell says, and I'll get to the other questions too. I learned group verse attach last week. Now attach verse weld and my life will complete. Okay. We're going to go new. Uh... Let's just do words because it's easy. Um, hmm. Okay. See this word, hello. Because we have not changed anything on it, it will go just like that. Let's duplicate this so we can have two examples. And let's duplicate it. We're going to have three examples. Because this one is not going to be anything changed. This one, let's change the color. Um, let's ungroup it first. Let's say we want to, whoops change the letters the spacing i don't know i'm just doing this for an example now let's click make it so because i ungrouped it and it's not how we want it we didn't do anything except for ungroup it so let's attach it so we're going to hit the paper clip and attach let me zoom in so you can see something can you see how there is space there, or not space, there is a black line there? Okay, let's hit make it. Okay, so it looks like attach made it right correctly and not all messed up like it was, but there's a white cut line right there. Let's hit cancel. 
Um, let's ungroup this one. We'll do the same thing. Move this over here. Okay, now we're going to select these and we're going to weld. Now, do you see the difference? Let me make this a lighter color. There is not a black line there. Do you see that? See the black cut line? That is a cut line. It's going to cut there. There is not one here because we welded it. Also, notice in the layers panel, once I welded this, it made it only one layer. You can see each letter here but these are all still separate layers. And when I click make it, has the cut line and there's no cut line. So actually this L and O made the letter B, <laughs> but it changes the image. Now, another difference in these this one's welded. I cannot unweld these. There's no way to unweld these. I can uh, detach. So I can hit the attach button now. It says detached, and I can change them. I cannot change this one at all. It is stuck like this forever, unless I undo until beforehand. But if I were to save it, I can't undo it. Oh, another question I had in Facebook. Um, how do you know what image you used? So you go over here, you right click your mouse and go to the bottom. Hold on, where'd it go? Oh, you go to image info and it says Cricut Sands, font Cricut Sands. It's in light gray and very hard to read because it's been welded. Let's try this one. Right click image info, Cricut Sans. Does it say always light for fonts? I don't know. Yeah. So if we were to grab an image, oh, and I have to show something about an image. Right click on the image image info and this is the celebrate and this gives you the number or if I like this image oh I might find others if I like that cartridge so these are all the ones from that cartridge remember you can always change the color so this is something to remember this used to be a circle cartridge that is now in access oh and did you guys know Natalie Milan images are now in access they're so pretty Okay, let me grab some more questions. Uh, uh, hold on. One of them is how to change fonts. Because this word has all been ungrouped, I can only change the font one letter at a time. You just double click on it. Sometimes it's fun to have different fonts for each letter. There's hundreds and hundreds of fonts in Design Space. This one, there's no way to change a font because it's been welded. Now this, let's make it a little smaller. Um, we can ungroup. I could take out this word if I wanted, I think. Yeah, oh, no. If I want to just take out the word and keep those, I can hit contour and then click on each of these. This is what contour does. You click on the cuts and it takes them away. If you've never used contour, just do it. Bring an image in. See what happens. So now I have 
that word. And if I want, I could put this really weird hello up there. I have to arrange it to the front. You know, you could put a name or whatever you want. It wouldn't match this like the Celebrate did, but it's possible. Uh, Nita Albert asks, how do you add score lines using the X and Y? I have no clue. Uh, I've never done that. Okay, let's bring these back. Let's change the color of this. Let's get rid of the grids. Well, we're going to need those on. Score line. Um, okay. Put it at the two. Did it add it? There it is. So I put it at the two and the two. Oh, I have to select it. Say, want it at the three inch. I guess that's how you do it. Oh yeah, how can you make your own stencil? Okay, now there are fonts with a stencil. Do you want your own font? Um, do you want vinyl or plastic stencil? If you want vinyl, all you have to do, um, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Just had to write the word sneeze. Um, if you wanted to make a stencil of this in vinyl, what you might want to do is put a square rectangle arrange it behind it and um let's say i want the word sneeze i want to put this on a wooden board and i'm going to use vinyl so what i would do is attach these it changes them to the same color. And what I would do is weed away the letters and then use transfer tape and put that on the wood or whatever I want to put it on and paint. So that would be how to make it with vinyl. That's really easy. But if you want a plastic one, um, <clears throat> well, let's detach. There are stencil fonts, and I think there's one in Design Space. I don't remember. Or you can download them. Wednesday stencil. This is an access. I don't know how this one works. Oh. Oh, yeah, I guess. I don't know. Well, let's just pick a regular font and I'll show you. Oh, here's one. This is a Martha Stewart one. Because see, there's no holes. That's what you want if you're using a plastic stencil. There would be no holes in it. So these would be one piece. Now, if you don't have, ooh, here's one. I've never seen this one. See, it has a line there, so there's no holes. So you can use that as a stencil. That's another, I guess it's a stencil if it has no holes. Um, but, ooh, this is a fun one. That has no holes either. So what you would do with these, the same thing you would do with the other, 
you'd, you know, put a box around it and attach it and pull out the pieces when it cuts that you want as a stencil. But if you don't have a stencil font to make any, okay, let's take away that stencil. Um, let's just use this one. What I do, bring in a little square, make it tiny, and make it smaller. I play with them and spend a lot of time so that little circle in the O or in the E is not showing or in an O. And I try to get it on the edge right there. And I, like, first I take it and duplicate it so I can do the other ones. And then I slice. So now there's a little line there. So when this cuts out, that will be one piece to tear off or to take out. Does that make sense? Where would you get plastic stencils? They're from, I get a lot from Amazon. Michael's has plastic poster board. It's the size of a big poster board. You can cut down into many stencils and it's like $1.99 without a coupon. Um, thank you guys. You guys are all so amazing. Okay, let me see. Uh, what do I mean by keyboard settings? When I went up here to settings, uh, keyboard. So I'm going to hit the question mark. So these are shortcut keyboard settings. <clears throat> Excuse me. These are not just design space. These are for, on my computer, I have a Mac. So these are for a Mac. So like I can hit uh, Command and X for cut, Command and C for copy, Command and V for paste. Command and Z for undo. So you don't have to click the buttons. You can actually just do them on your keyboard. You know, the delete button. Ooh, send back, send front. I've never used those. I just hit the buttons instead of these. That's what I mean by keyboard settings. So have you guys learned anything yet today? Oh, great question, Kathy. How do you use the scoring wheel if it is not suggested? It should be suggested if you have the maker. Let's add a score line. Okay, we're gonna attach a score line. We're gonna click make it. I don't know if I can answer your question because we attach that score line is right there. Um, <laughs> thanks for the bless yous. Uh, okay, sorry, I was reading your questions. Let's just do cardstock. Uh, so it's suggesting the scoring wheel, but if it doesn't have a scoring wheel, right here, you can see edit tools. So you wanna click that edit tools and then you can choose the scoring stylus or if it's suggesting the scoring stylus, stylus you should be able to click uh, scoring wheel. That's how you change that. And I also want to say, um, if you are using the Cricut Explore, Explore Air, Explore One, Explore Air Two, turn your dial to custom because then you can have all of these. Okay, you don't have all of them because I have the maker. Thank you, Mary Lynn. Um, 
but you will have a lot of these that, to choose from. The exact um, material to choose from. Like a lot of people are using vinyl, but really, uh, what type of vinyl is it? So you have different settings for outdoor vinyl, permanent vinyl, and all that type of thing. So I always think it's best just to have your dial on custom. That way you never forget to change your material. Well, that's not true. Sometimes I still do. Um, yes, you can read all of these questions in the video when we're done and when it replays the videos all these will be there and i know there's so many of you helping out and answering questions i do appreciate it <clears throat> thank you ronnell that's amazing uh i'm going back and looking at more questions our classes are usually an hour long uh because i usually do another live video with patreon hangouts or um, opening viewer mail we do on the first Saturday of each month. But I don't have another one. I didn't get an email about new images. Oh, you guys want to maybe, well, I'm going to hit cancel. Yes, I want to cancel. Do we want to see? Oh, I do want to show somebody asked me on Facebook last night. Uh, she said something. I asked her again, and I, I didn't see if there was a response yet. Uh, some Somewhere she was reading it told her to insert the monogram motifs cartridge. Thank you, Wanda. Um, so she didn't know how to do that. She is a brand new Cricut uh, user. So let me start from the beginning. We're going to look for an image from a cartridge. We're going to click over here on images. If you guys hear snoring, that's my dogs. You probably heard them drinking earlier. Um, we're going to hit cartridges. So cartridges are right here. And <clears throat> so sorry. Let's do monogram. You only have to search one word in the title. Okay, look at those. I didn't know that was there. Balloon monograms. That's cute. Monogram motifs is what it was. Gaming monograms. Okay, I did not know there was that many. Um, this is such a cute cartridge. 350 images. This will write... I th is that pretty? Oh, man. Look at that M. Thank you, Lori. These are so pretty. I act like I've never seen these. I have seen these many times. But so if it told you to bring in, look, these are writing. Oh, and the at sign, the euro sign, arrow. Love these. These are so pretty. They're all so pretty. Remember, you can change the color. Look at that. I'm just going to bring some of these in. Look at the pretty heart. So pretty. I was going to do the year. What year is this? 19? Look at that arrow. So pretty. Oh, I should have cleaned all those off. Okay, we can't see these writing ones. Let me get rid of the sneeze. Let me change the background color. I don't know what to change it to. How about white? Look at how pretty these are. And these are draw. I don't think we could. Let's see what happens if we change it to cut. 
does it? Oh, it changed it to cut and print. That's a new one. So it'll print it and then cut it out. I don't know what it's going to cut. That's one to try. But look at how pretty. Now this has many layers. If you don't want to do all these layers, you don't have to. I'm bringing it over here. We can hide these back ones and just hit that. Okay, let's change the other color. Let's go light blue here. Look how pretty that is. And that will cut out. Wait a minute. I better bring this back to size it bigger. That's so pretty. Now, if I wanted to change the color of this piece, you have to select just this one in the layers panel and change that to green. So pretty. Now, let's say we want to change this one. Change this to white. We can change that. Okay, let's hide these and hide this one. So then you just have that one. Let's hide that one. You just have that one. So fun. And look at the arrow. So pretty. You can hide these and just have an arrow like that has the offset and the letters have the offset too. Let's go back to the M. Look, that's a really nice offset. And if you just want the outline like that, you can slice it. Slice, whoops, hello mouse, work properly. And now we sliced it. Oh wait, I'm gonna try that. Oh, it got rid of the other parts of the M because we sliced it. Uh, let's go back, try something. Okay, before we slice it, let's ungroup. Let's bring all these back here. Move these out of the way. Just going to select these two layers and I'm going to slice those. I'm just, this is what I do. <laughs> I just play. That's kind of cool. To make it like that without this layer in there. Is that cool? That would be cool ironed onto a shirt. Oh wait, you can do this too. Hold on, let's move that out of the way. Let's slice these. If you want one layer of iron on. Hold on, don't want that. Don't want that. Do I? Maybe that's, well I don't want all those pieces. Maybe this doesn't work. I'm gonna hide all and just bring in these. Look at the pretty roses. You just click on the ones you wanna bring in. Let's say we just wanna do that. Look, we can use these for something else too. Oh, I gotta get rid of that. But we could just put those inside there. I want you guys just to play. I'm reading your chat. I do learn new things from you guys.
Uh, how do you get an uploaded image from Design Space to print only? Um, that's a great question. What images do I have here? Let me undo. Lots of clicking going on. Okay, let's say, whoops, let's select these, move them over here. Let's say we don't want to cut all this out. We just want to print it. All I have to do is click flatten. Isn't it pretty? Now it's all one layer and it will print. It will print this out. Oh yeah, and it will print this one because earlier we made it print. Um, when you hit print, you just hit continue. This will print it to your printer. You do have to have a printer set up through Wi-Fi or through a cord from your computer or your device you're using and click send to printer. So this will send it to my printer. I can print to PDF. If I print a PDF, I can save it on my computer. I can save it on a thumb drive. I can take it to Staples or Office Max or Kinko's or anything like that, or work if I worked somewhere else, and have it printed and then come back and cut it. But you can choose your, uh, your any printer you have. I always go to Advanced Options. And I change the quality the best. I do rear tray because I'm usually doing cardstock, heavyweight paper. You can do photo paper, anything you want here. And then click print. I'm going to cancel because I'm not really printing this. So that's how you do print and cut. If you've never done it, do it. Um... Mary Hub, great question. If you have access and you create an image on access and save it. So let's say I save this image and I have access. Um, okay, and let's say I canceled my access. Can your image that was saved using access design still be used? You can use it unless it's an exclusive access image. I don't know what the exclusive ones are anymore, or even if there are any anymore. But um, if you have access when you designed this, you don't even need to have access. I can design with any images that I want whether I own them or not, um, I can design with any image, save it, and later I can always cut it. If I don't have access, it will ask me if I want to pay. Let me see. Um, there's got to be an image I don't own. Let's go to categories. I don't think I own all the Star Wars. Oh, I own most of them. Martha Stewart, I don't own all of hers. Okay, see there's a price. I can have this in here. I can save it and use it for later. Um, I don't own this one, so I'm going to click make it. Uh-oh. Okay, here it says $1.49 because of this image. So I'm going to click on purchase. This is very important. Play it, pay attention, please. 
I get so many people because I share all my design space files with the people who support my channel and they may not own all of the images in my files. Um, I try to use access, but if they don't have access, they're going to see a charge. And they ask me, why is there a charge or what is that for? And they're afraid to click purchase. Please click purchase. Here's what it does. It brings you to this. You cannot purchase it until you put your password in here. So you can put your password in here and then purchase it. But that is the only way you can purchase it. Okay, so never be afraid to go further because it will tell you what image it was. Because I have not um, cut this or paid for it yet, I can go back and delete that and then I won't be charged. Does that make sense? Does that help you? Uh, let's get new. Clean off our thing. Uh, Julie on Facebook says, has anyone tried an embossing pen on the maker? Julie, I have in many videos. I have videos on the embossing pen. First one is from 2014. Um, I haven't done a video on this yet because I'm waiting for certain embossing powder to get here. I don't know if it's coming, so I just might have to do with what I have. Um, but the Cricut gel pens can be used as embossing pens. Okay, let me get to more questions. Oh wait, I did get more messages for questions. Oh, um, can we see pattern fill designs larger than thumbnail? I don't know. Let's do a star. We're gonna change this to print and we're going to click the little thing, little square here. And we're going to click here and we're going to change it to pattern. I, you can't see it larger than here unless you just click on it. circle and circle and circle. Let me read out of questions. Okay. Okay, uh, the bleed option. So there's that. There's no other way to see it bigger that I know of. Um, Let's click make it. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. Um, continue. Where's the bleed option at? Okay, where did it go? This is a print and cut. You guys, I lost the bleed option. Is it here? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so it's hard to see on this because it's small, 
but it's bleeding off it a little, that bleed off option is so it will cut perfectly. And if it cuts off a teeny bit, you will not see white on your star. I always leave the bleed on, always. Let's see if this helps, helps you see the bleed. Uh, sent it printer, not really. It's hard to tell, but always leave it on. Oh, I also had lots of questions from Facebook about subway art. Um, I'm going to change this to no fill. So it's now back to a cut image. And they're asking how to put words into uh, a shape. And you just do it. That I, Somebody says, how do you pick what fonts? I'm like, you just do it. You just choose what you like. If there's any rules for this, I don't know what they are. So, A. Let's add another word. Good. You just got to kind of fit them where you want them. Maybe use a different font. This is a stencil font too. Three birds on parade. This would take me a really long time to do. You could turn letters to fit. You just have to play with the letters. Uh, different font. I'm just picking random and I should probably do all capitals right there. Letter spacing. So what I do is um, put a shape behind the letters and just start um, putting them how I want them and then I can remove this when I'm done. So kind of use that as a guide. Um, searching through images, having trouble searching images. Um, she says like ornaments. You might want to do it singular, not plural. Don't search plural. She's getting more than what she's looking for. There's always going to be more than what you're looking for. If you want a certain ornament or, oh, look at that. That is so cute. He's got a palm tree and palm sun. And he's on a bicycle. I never saw that card. Um, you just have to be specific on what you're looking for. And you have to do a few different searches. Now, if I search ornaments, I might get some different things. See?
these are no, more like ornaments you'd put with your image. It's so cute. So remember, if you don't find what you're looking for, add an S or take away your S, different things like that. Um, let me see your chat. I'm way behind in chat. I have never shown you how to do print larger than the mat. Um, here's a print image. I don't know if you can slice print images. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Hold on. I'm going to group this and hide it. Whoops. Hide the whole group. Okay. Um, let's try to slice this. Yeah, you can slice. Uh, but that turns it into a cut. Can we change this to print? And can we click on this and change to original artwork? No, we can't. So once we slice this, it changes it. I don't know how to do, I would have to look that up on YouTube. Uh, Debbie Craft, what was your question about images? Oh, I just answered your question, Debbie. Yeah, ranger embossing pins fit perfectly in the Cricut. Yeah, Jason, I just tried that and it doesn't. I can't get it to go back to the print to the pattern that it was. Oh, wait a minute. There it is. Oh my goodness. I didn't move it out of the way. I was doing the wrong image. It's right there. So you can slice and make bigger than, oh, that was a dumb mistake, Melody. Oh well. So, okay, let's start over. Let's say we wanted to make this really big. So we're going to size this um, to hmm, let's say we're going to keep the proportions. We're going to change it to 15 inches. So it's 15 by 62. There's no way we can cut this. So print and cut size, I guess we don't need it that small. Print and cut size can be no bigger. We need to size this square to, uh, let's do 6.24. I like to do it just a little smaller. Unlock the lock and make this 9.24. So we're going to take the square. We're going to duplicate it. Move these out of the way. This is like our knife, okay? So we're going to make sure we have all that covered. We're going to select the box, our knife, or cookie cutter, and select the image and click slice. 
delete this. And this is where I was like, oh, it's not going back. Delete that. And now you have this image. Now let's click make it and see what happens. So what this says is at least one of your printable images is too large to print. Please, please reduce for, to 9.25 to 8. Oh, it's 675. I guess I could have made it bigger. What size did I make these? Oh, let's change this to seven. Hit enter. Okay, let's back up because I think I can do this. I guess it doesn't really matter. Change the size. Seven, four. Duplicate. Slice down here. Line that up or just get rid of this. Move this out of the way. Make sure this is covering that. I can make it a little lower. Select it, slice. Delete these. Now we can slice this. I could turn this this way and do it that way if I wanted to. It doesn't really matter. Now we got that sliced. Get rid of these. And we don't need a slice anymore. So we didn't need all those. So now we have this puzzle. <laughs> and we're going to make it. Great question. Why do you duplicate? Uh-oh. Something's too large. What's too large? Um, that's too large. Oh, I must have made that one, made a square too large. Not realizing it. So let's just cut that off. We'll slice it again. And click make it. Okay, come on. Is this one? 7.7. .7. I think I did not undo the lock when I made those bigger. That must be it. Too large. 9.8. Yeah, I made those too large. I wasn't paying attention when I changed the size. Slice. Now make it. Now I can make it. So it will print this. And then you will just have a puzzle to put together. Why do you duplicate? I duplicated them so I could have them the same wrong size and slice with it. So I just duplicate so I can have more than one without having to go back into shapes and getting more and sizing each one. They're all sized incorrectly. Uh, that's right. The more mistakes you make, the more you learn. So don't be afraid to make mistakes. Uh... Did you pick the 12 by 24 mat? No, there's no reason to on a print and cut because you cannot print that big. If I had an image, let's go new. Uh, let's go image. Let's see what's new. Categories, recently added. Uh, 
We belong amongst the wildflowers. Okay, let's click that one. Let's say I want this bigger than the mat. Let's, I want to put this above my bed. Okay, seriously, I don't because I live alone and there's no we ever coming here. Um, I want to make this 25 inches. I want to keep the proportions to what they are and hit make it. It will say it's too large. Let me zoom out. So what we have to do is cut this. Now, this is not a print image. So what I'm going to do is get a shape. Going to try to size it correctly. Whenever I want the biggest piece I can do, um, we're going to change this to 11.5 is the biggest we can do. So I'm going to put 11.45 for the width and 23.45 for the height. That way I'm safe. I'm going to duplicate this so I don't have to recreate anything. So this time I'm going to use the 12 by 24 mat. So I'm going to make sure all this is covered here. Select that and slice. And that's the extra piece. That's the extra piece there. And this is still too big. If I don't want all these little pieces there, I might just cut this in half here, wherever you want to, and slice. Don't need that big piece. So then if I'm doing vinyl, this will cut out in vinyl. Let's click make it. Because the mat is too big, it is going to automatically put it on a 12 by 24 mat. Do you see? Does that make sense? Uh, Julianne Facebook is asking what printer. I have the Epson uh, 7710 and it will print 12 by 12. Yes, all my videos are always available on uh, YouTube. YouTube.com slash Melanie Lane. Just click my name and hit subscribe. Are there any other questions? Uh, I remember a question from last night. Um, let me go back to cancel. It was about um, an image with different colors uh, and attaching. So let's say I want to, okay, I'm going to add text again. Um, I'm going to ungroup these. Oh, you can't. Hold on. Let me make this wider so you guys can see. More. Oh, you still can't see. Well, more advanced. There we can see. Ungroup to lines. So I'm going to ungroup these. This should probably be a capital. Whoops. And I need to see what you guys can see and make sure we're all good. Okay, yeah. Move that back over. Okay, let's say these are different colors. Ooh, wait a minute. Um, 
let's make this the same one. Let's add a star and a shape, heart. I'm just doing this to, okay, we're gonna have a purple heart and a gold star. Okay, let's say we want to cut this out of vinyl. And uh, we don't want it all jumbled. Okay, let's click make it. We want it to be like this. And look at that morning hello. That's We want to do this out of vinyl. We want, don't want it to end up like that. All these are up there. Okay. What we have to do is attach these. Um, the star and heart, those don't really, well, let's go ahead and change this to yellow. Just for this example, let's click make it. Look at the yellow mat, it's not how we want that. We want to attach these. Her problem was she would select them and she wants them to cut like this so she would click attach. Well, attach changes them all to one color because it puts them all on the mat together. Let's undo. Let's group them, see what happens. We can change the size now together. We just click and it selects the whole group. We click make it. That's not what we want. So when you have an image like this, we don't want it grouped. We select the other one. We can click shift and select the two light colors and attach those. So we want to attach the morning with the hello. I'm holding down the shift key, clicking on the hello and click attach and click make it. So now it will cut out how we want it. Does that make sense? Now let's say we don't want this purple heart to cut out up here in the top corner. You really do because it'll save your vinyl. But let's pretend we don't. So if we want all this to cut out exactly where it's at, I am going to add a shape. I'm going to add the square, make it bigger than that. Will it have to be exactly... And I'm going to change this from a cut line to a score line. Um, ooh, I'm going to have to duplicate it and do it for each color. Okay, so let's just move these out of the way for now. Go. There we go. Go out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to select the score line, hit the shift, select, no, wait, let's select, let's turn it to the back because we can't select the other stuff. Okay, now I'm selecting the red and the score line, I think, here, let's just drag that, it's easier. We're going to attach it. Now I'm going to send this to the back, it doesn't look any different, but it really is. I'm going to move this score line here, and I'm going to select, what am I going to select? Over here in the layers panel, select the purple heart and that score line and the purple heart. I think we're good. Going to attach. Okay, now I'm going to bring this score line, put it right on top, and we have that score line here. I'm going to hit the shift and select the yellow uh, images, the star and the word, and we're going to attach those. Okay, now when we hit make it, we have these exactly where we want them. See? That's not back up in the corner. Now, it's good if we're doing this on vinyl, it's going to score our vinyl 
if we put in um, the score wheel, let's go to continue because it's going to ask you if the score wheel is in. You could score the vinyl if you want, but if that's not what you want to do, um, let's just say vinyl. And it's going to ask for the score wheel. Now it will test if you have the maker, it will only ask for a score wheel if you have the maker. If you have the maker and you're not really using the score wheel because you really don't need to score at all, we're just tricking design space. We're going to go to edit tools and put in the score stylus. That way it will not check to see if it's in there. You don't have to change your blade or anything. Change it to the score wheel and then hit continue. And then don't put the score scoring stylus in there. You don't need a scoring stylus or a scoring wheel to do that. I'm just going to hit cancel. But I wanted to show you that. This way it will keep it exactly where you want it if that's what you want to do. Uh, let me check questions. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for all the thumbs up. Thank you, everybody, for answering. Okay, if you guys learned something today, raise your hand. Uh, Kat says, if you use registration marks, will that do the same thing? Sure. Uh, sometimes I make registration marks if I'm layering vinyl just to help me. It will do the same thing. And those of you that are new to Design Space or new to my channel, you can... Um, Go to my channel. Oh, that's not my channel. I don't know who that is. <laughs> YouTube.com slash Melody Lane. That was YouTube.com slash Melody. Um... For one thing, you can go to my community if you support my channel on YouTube. Uh, this is where you get um, the password to stuff. And then when there's sales and stuff, I also show those here too. Um, you can click on videos. And uh, for some reason, I don't know why my thumbnails are not showing up. You can go here to past videos. I have 1,800, more than 1,800. You can go to playlist. This might be more informative. All my created playlist. Um, oh, my accordion style projects. I'm like, what is that one? Uh, new images in design space. I have 10 videos to show you the most recent images. Where is my design space classes? Sheila and Michael show. Uh, large paper flowers, design space live classes. Here it is. So this is the video we did last, last week. Here's all the chat. 
you can scroll through this if you don't if you watch last week's but you want to go back further uh here's another design space q a um there's so much information inside each one of these but there is one said that for beginners where i really really start basic you can just scroll through these But whatever the title says, I do cover that, but I cover so much more in each one. There's one somewhere in the middle about beginning. Um, that's right, Jamie, last call for questions. Uh, Vanessa is asking what the camera button is for click the camera button you just kind of see through it the camera button is for so you can like say you want to put something on your wall and you want to see if the colors will match up or how it will look it's really just there for that oh and to subscribe to my channel oh there I am um I'm going to go back to my channel. Go to home. You can find some. This is my most recent uploads. If you like going on a golf cart ride and seeing the sunshine, you can, or sunset, you can go here. Here's, oh, I need to change that from Valentine probably to Easter or St. Patrick's Day. Here is a list of my most recent um, design space classes. It's about the knife way, my Tesla trip. And there is a red button over here that says subscribe. Click subscribe. Um, okay. Thank you, Jamie. She put the link for Design Space for Beginners. And join my Facebook group, Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane. You get so many questions answered. Oh yeah, you can also search on my channel. You can search right here for words for something you wanna look up. She says, go to search box and type in beginner. Oh, and here it is. Cricut Design Space for Beginners. Where to start? Beginner card making five years ago. Told you. I've been doing this a while. I got a lot of videos. Yeah, the expression too. Wow. Some of these are old. Cricut Craft Room, which is no longer even here. Yes, Ronnell, you have to go to community. If you guys have any questions about anything, you can always message me or email me. Uh, I'm going to answer one last question I saw somebody ask in the Facebook. How do you use templates? To be honest, I don't use them. But let's say we, uh, they're only, templates are for reference only and will not be saved with your project. They will not be cut or saved. You can change, oh, go down here at the bottom. Oh, there's why the little eye is there for templates. Because when you're using this template, you can hide it if you want. Oh, I, I don't use templates, so I don't know this but you can change this size. You can um, So let's say we wanted this 
on a shirt. Okay, we probably wouldn't put it right there, but we can see, I need to group all these together. We could kind of size it, see how it looks on the shirt. Maybe we want to change something, you know, it's, it's just kind of for size, but I don't do this. If I'm making something for a shirt, I will measure the shirt, or if it's for my own shirt, I kind of just put a ruler up to me and see where I want it on my shirt and how big I want it. That's what I do. I wouldn't always trust these templates. Yeah, some people use them all the time. What if the word good morning was bigger than the mat? Well, I just showed earlier in the video uh, how to change it bigger than the mat. This one's not, but... Um, if, say, this was bigger than the mat, the good morning part, let's, well, first let's ungroup this. Say this was, I would uh, say if morning fit on the mat, but with the hello being this way, um, I would separate these two and just do them and place them on the shirt how I want them individually. Oh, uh, Mildred is asking, can she get the Cricut image next to the names that she's seen? Um, if somebody has the little Cricut image next to their name, that means they are a supporter on YouTube. And it's a little badge. I can show you. So, uh, they used to, yeah, it's membership loyalty now. So if you first sign up for me and uh, you're supporting me, you start out with no antennas. Then after one month, you grow antennas and so on. So six months, you grew arms. But you couldn't see a difference because the arms are so little. And so what I decided to do is I put a blue square behind them. So for those people who are there and have a blue square it's been over six months i should check does anyone know how long that's been um uh let me look i had my thing open to my members here we are um members We have 277 members right now. When I hit 300, I'll be able to add another emoji. Hold on, I have to click more and keep cl clicking more till I get to the very beginning ones and see how long they've been doing it. Yeah, this is through YouTube only. I wish that all of my subscribers or all of my supporters on Patreon and Facebook could also get that badge, but I don't have control over who gets the badge. Only YouTube and you guys. If you want it, you have to support on Patreon. It looks like eight months. Yeah, eight months. So we got four more months till we get the ones for the one year. Thanks, Charmaine. Oh my gosh, Joanna. Thank you. I had no idea. In the chat, if you hold your mouse over someone's uh, little badge, it says how long they've been members. I didn't have to go look at that, did I? Thank you. Oh, 
Okay, now I can't get it to work again. It did work. Um, the password, let me take you over here. Um, if you're on, if you're supporting on my channel, you can get the password by clicking on community right here. It will take you to this post and you have to click read more. And then I think this one is just a reminder of the password. So once you click that read more, it will take you to um, a link. Yeah. So if you're a Patreon supporter, you click here. Facebook fan supporter can click here and YouTube members can click here and it will take you right to the post to get the password and my website, MelodyLaneInspired.com, to get all of my projects. Uh, I'm not sure if this community works on iPad yet. They're still working on that. So you might have to go to a computer. If you don't have a computer and you can't get to the password, just message me or email me at MelodyLaneDesigns.com. Right? No, MelodyLaneDesigns at gmail.com. Uh, Donna on Facebook is asking me about my paper storage. I think it's TSI wholesale. They sell stuff for stores. Uh, also, you can get it on Amazon. It's kind of expensive. Yay, Kathy, it worked. All right, guys, it's been a two-hour class. So I'm going to let you guys go. And I will see you Tuesday I have a fun project, something different I haven't done before. Um, somebody asked me, showed me a picture and asked me to make it in Design Space. So I did, and I really like it. I think I made it better than what she showed me. So uh, a new project and file for my supporters will be coming on Tuesday. And uh, you guys get to see me put it together. I, I'm hoping to make a few different ones. Thank you guys. You guys mean the world to me. I wouldn't be here without you and without my supporters. I wouldn't be here. I appreciate you guys and love you and thank you. Bye.